Okay, we're around the other side now, and we have our injection pump. You can see the lock tabs on our injection pump. So it's X, um, X been done up some time, I would think. It has got Fergie grey paint on it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll never know the history, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have this return line. So the return from the injectors, it goes up through here, comes out through there. So looks like it's been a problem area. There's thread tape on all of these. So actually they're, they're not very tight even. Just finger tight. So they may have had a problem at some stage in their life. There's a 916th AF spanner I'm using. Now that's coming out of the injector itself, that one. So if it does that, we've got to deal with that. Okay, number four's out, number one's out. There's quite a bit of rust in there. You can see it in the pipe. Yeah, no, the pipe's not turning, that's coming, this one. This one's a bit tight all the way, but he's off, okay. Now this, I've just got to check that the pipes, yeah, so it's moving. It's moving on the pipe inside here. So what we have to do now, oh, come on Nelly, beautiful. By undoing the injector clamp, actually I might, just crack this injector first. Oh, well, no need. <laughs> Actually, they're all loose. Well, some are loose, some aren't. Yep, they're all loose. So we're taking the clamp off here. Now, you'll notice the nuts have a um, taper on them, and there's a taper in the clamp there, to, and that helps hold it all square. If we take this clamp off, that gives us access now to get a 7 16th shifter. Uh, I'll get the proper spanner, just over here, ah, oh, little 716, where are you? There's one, the jaws look a bit wide on that one, perhaps thinner jaws, spanners, yeah, you can see the difference in the jaws there, so this one might be too wide, I'll use a little Sid Chrome one. There we go. They're easy. Okay, and that's the that's a little culprit that was giving us the trouble. So they can go in the, over there on the floor, or on the box on the floor. Okay. We'll loosen all these injector lines.
You can see the thread tape in here and the rust in here. We won't be able to get the crank out on the stand and the crank's the last thing out anyway so because of the engine because of the engine stand here um, at the back the crank has to come out the back so we can do that in a different step later sometime injector nuts are 5 8 oh yeah Okay, they're all free. Is this injector free? Look, the cap's loose. That's not here. Not what you want. I suppose the adjustments on here is locked in place. It's just I wouldn't mind betting that was leaking. Right, I'll go and get a little injector bar. There we go. There's an injector. Now, there's no rust there at all. You can feel the Pintox. Pintle Pintox. Pintox, I think that is. The, you have the main nozzle here, then over the back here there's another tiny little hole that atomizes fuel to help you start on a lot of these engines that's um, been made redundant years ago. All right, we'll get the nut going to these clamps. This is a ringing nut on this one. Those nuts wouldn't be hard to make, you could just pop them in the load. And um, that's got a bent injector bolt. Yeah, you could just get a standard nut in the lathe and put a slight taper on the back. Okay, let's see if we have some injectors that would like to come out. Now I'm not on the thread there, I'm on the flat on the nut. That's what I'm going for at least. Now what I don't mind doing some stage now is while you hold pressure against the injector here just give it a just a little jar as you go along These are rusted in a little bit. There you go. Okay, there's there's rust on number four. You can see on the nozzle there.
little bit of rust on that one. We don't really care. <laughs> We're just buggering around here. You can see I'm barely tapping that. Don't go flogging shit out of it. And number one. Number one's nice and black. Okay. I'll get all this tidied up, get all the junk out of the way, and we'll move on. <laughs> 